had forgotten yet. But a world's events have rumbled on since those jagged days, like traffic checked the crossing of city ways. And the haunted gap in your mind has filled with thoughts that flow like clouds and lit heaven of life. And you're a man, reprieve to go, taking your peaceful share of time with joy and despair. But the past is just the same, and war's a bloody game. Have you forgotten yet? Look down and swear by the slain of the war that you'll never forget. Damn you, Robbie. Why did you leave me behind? We're best mates. We did everything together. Went to school together. Did our GCSEs together. Dossed around together. And when results came out, no surprises there. We never worked with in the first place. I only got a C in English, just. And then, day results came out. You and me went back to your place, and we played some COD 3. And I found these forms on your desk. Forms to join the real army. That's why I got them. And you said there was nothing else for us here. I mean, what future did we have? I didn't want to be serving in Big Macs day in, day out all my life. Would you? Anyway, I sent him off. And two weeks later, results come back. Heathcliff Rifles want us both to start training at Sandhurst next September. So we did. A whole year of training, desert manoeuvres, drills, inspections, everything. And we couldn't tell anyone where we were. You, you miss your sister, Robbie, but me, no one in my family will miss me. So one day, after all that time and all that training, we get our orders in. And we're gonna go to the stand for a whole year! We were so excited that night. You and me went down the pub and we found we'd kick their asses. But when we got there, it was different. Because nearly every day, you get reports that someone had been shot, or blown up, or the chopper would crash. You never thought it would happen to us. But you don't, do you? There's always one bullet or bomb out there with your name on it. Trouble is, you don't know which one it is. I remember that day so well. <laughs> You and me were on patrol around Sangin, bored out of our minds as usual. And then I saw this bit of junk by your foot. Well, I thought it was just junk. But then I saw the red wire. I told you to run. But you didn't. And the next thing I know, I'm lying on the ground with bits of a homemade bomb stuck in my back. And I'm calling your name, but you don't answer. When we went to the stand, we vowed we'd stick to each other, look out for each other, and I failed. I don't remember anything else after that. I haven't remembered anything else since. For three months! Robbie, what would I have done if I just stayed at home and served Big Macs? Day in, day out, I don't know anymore.